There are, of course, the domestic ferrets most people know and love. There are also the domestic ferrets' wild counterparts from whom it is theorized they were domesticated. These wild ferrets are also known as European polecats, and they are who we'll be discussing today. However, we also want to note that there are other wild ferret species, such as the black-footed ferret and the steppe polecat. These are not the specific ferrets we're talking about in this episode. For all intents and purposes, as we move forward, wherever we say ferret in this video, we mean wild European polecats. European polecats are probably unsurprisingly from Europe. They can also on exceptionally rare occasion be seen in northern Africa. These wild ferrets live from sea level to more than a mile above sea level, and they can be found in forested habitats along the edges of forests, in wetlands, throughout grasslands that support the growth of sporadic trees, and typically like to be near a source of water. European polecats sleep in dens, which can include hollow logs, crevices in natural formations, and burrows including burrows made by other animals. Ferrets spend quite a bit of time sleeping. In general, they don't have a set schedule of activity during their days. Some may prefer to bounce around during the daylight, while others prefer the night. But, as a loose rule of thumb, they can be considered crepuscular, meaning they're more active at sunrise and sunset. Wild ferrets eat small mammals, frogs, sometimes fish, and invertebrates, though they're especially keen on rabbits. Ferrets are so tough they can actually take on a rabbit twice their size without issue, and it's thought they were domesticated due to this trait. Although ferrets are generally thought of as the adorable little fur noodles seen in pet stores, they've actually stood alongside humans as hunting companions. Some estimates place the origin of their domestication back more than 2,000 years ago. Due to their prowess as hunters, ferrets have been introduced to New Zealand where they've wreaked havoc on native populations of animals. Ferrets are tough predators because once they've grabbed hold of something, they can't be parted from it unless they want to let go. Even in death, their jaws stay closed and often can't be pried open. They're a force to be reckoned with. The main predators to ferrets are humans, but they can also be taken by other, larger carnivores and birds of prey. However, if a ferret's fierce disposition doesn't keep most predators away, her stink may. Scent is a big aspect of ferret life, because they use it to hunt and also to let other ferrets know they're around. Wild ferrets are mostly solitary, except when raising their young. Female ferrets give birth to one litter, averaging about five babies per year. The babies stay with her until they reach adult size at about three months of age, and then set off on their own. They're usually ready to breed by their first year of age, and the males fight over available females. Mating is an aggressive affair and includes lots of neck biting and anatomy that leaves the male in charge of the act. No wonder they're solitary. In the wild, ferrets may live to be six years old. During the winter, ferrets have thicker coats, though they're not usually hunted for their fur like the martens we've talked about previously. The ladies are usually smaller with males sometimes doubling their size, but on average they reach a foot and a half in length and two pounds in weight. For more facts on ferrets, check out the links in the description. Thank you to T87 and the Dark Star for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.